Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and today is again another Forging Friday. And for today's Forging Friday, I have decided to show you one of my current favorite toys, and that is this bird turny forgy toy thing. As usual, I don't really know the name, so I'll put it in the description down below. Anyways, this toy is really cool. Um, it's very similar in function to another toy I've had, which I will also show on screen because I cannot remember the name of any of these foraging toys. But that other foraging toy actually has way more issues than this one. Uh, if you guys have seen my video on the blue turning foraging toy that you put on the cage bars, that one I talked about at length having some issues that I didn't like. Uh, for one, it was very difficult to use because you needed certain types of treats, as in certain sizes. And this one doesn't have that issue. You can see that the opening is large enough to put my oxbow pellets in. And it's also large enough, of course, for treats, which I have put in here as well. And on top of that, both of them are very easy to spin. And this one is very easy to take apart. You can see here that it has this piece and you can just take it off completely. So you can see, oh my God, this is, nope, 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 do not spin it now. I don't want it to be overexposed. Okay, there we go. So you can see that I have taken out the piece that allows for easy uh, input if you want to put in treats and stuff like that. And okay guys, just give me a second. And it's also pretty easy to put back when you're not just doing one hand. Okay, there we go. And when you put that back in there, that kind of helps to section off the food so it doesn't just fall out. And this toy is really nice for pretty much anything because it's great for giving uh, lab blocks. It's also great for giving treats. And it's pretty easy for the rats to use. At first, I was a little worried. Um, I actually got this a few years ago, but when I first got it, I was a little worried because I didn't think they could use it because it's so big. I was worried they wouldn't be able to turn it, but clearly they can do that no problem. And by the time it gets down to, you know, just a, a little bit down here, then they're having to spin it several times in order to get the treats out. Anyways, as you can see, they really do enjoy the toy. Right now we see Bean doing it, of course. It's always Bean in these videos because Bean is very uh, happy to show off. Anyways, you can see that it's a, a very nicely made foraging toy. It's very easy to clean. Like I showed you, it's pretty easy to take off this top piece to put in new food or take out old food which was a big issue I had with the prior one that I was talking about, the uh, blue one. And I'm going to show you in the back, this is how it mounts. So it's just screwed on there with this one big acrylic screw. And that's really nice because it makes it so easy to just mount on there. I really enjoy things that just have one giant screw like this instead of the tiny little wing nut things like those off-brand forging wheels. So yeah, I really like that about this. I like how easy it is to mount and move. I also like how easy it is to fill, how easy it is to clean. It's just one of those really nice foraging toys that, you know, it's a solid toy. There's not too much else to say about it because it's just really great. And usually they wouldn't be making such a mess. Um, <laughs> I tend to just put uh, lab blocks in here, like I said. So the fact that it has treats in there is causing them to dig through it. Bean is clearly looking for something specific. Oh, you're looking for Cheerios! Bean! Jeez! I put Cheerios, Cashews, and Lab Locks in there, and Bean just goes for the Cheerios. I see how this is, Bean. But anyways, as you can see, they do have to maneuver it a little bit, and usually when it's just the Lab Locks, they'll end up doing that when this thing gets empty. But in this case, Bean has figured out that she needs to move it more to get more Cheerios down, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure what else to say about it, really. It's just a toy that I really like. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the rats use it, and the rats are going to enjoy emptying this of treats because, well, I don't tend to give them nuts or anything like that unless it is Foraging Friday or Cage Cleaning Day. Uh, so they really tend to look forward to these Foraging Fridays. I know it seems a little funny, but they get very excited when they see me putting nuts in the thing. Well, except for Bean, who just likes the Cheerios, apparently. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the rats play with their foraging toy, and otherwise, I hope to see you next time. Bye!